In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to assemble our Nutcracker pop-up card. We have several other of these designs, and I have a few other videos on them as well, but we're going to be focusing on the Nutcracker here, and the good news is even our other designs are made very much the same way. So the supplies I'm using for this project is my Cricut cutting machine. I'll be using a medium weight cardstock paper, a cutting mat, my brayer tool to press the material to the mat, and my scoring stylus, as well as some barely art glue for my adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and get this card cut out. I've already loaded it into Design Space. The information for these templates is linked below for you, so you can find all those details there, as well as links to the supplies you're seeing featured in this video. So I'm getting all of my colors cut out here with my Cricut machine. You can also find Design Space setup tips below in the video description as well on the blog at Abby Kirsten Collections. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my liquid glue here, and I'm going to start by layering all of the little pieces around on our design here. So the easiest way that you can do this is just by looking at the layers of the file, how it's loaded in Design Space or whatever cut software you might be using. It's super easy to just see where the layers go and put them in sequential order. So do this for all of them. You'll have the Nutcracker piece as well as our Christmas tree here. Go ahead and grab these three insert pieces, which are going to hold our pop-up card together. You're going to go ahead and thread that through the frontmost piece there which is our nutcracker piece and you'll glue those tabs along the front there so there's three slots and three tabs to glue you're also going to repeat this with the uh, backmost piece of your nutcracker card as well so it's important to get the front and the back put together first before you try to insert the two center layers so you're going to repeat this again by threading it through on the back piece there you'll add glue and just fold those tabs where they naturally stop right over and secure with glue give it a minute to grab and set up before you try and move on to the next step and then you can set this upright now you're going to take the two remaining pieces and you'll just slide those into the center of your uh, slots that are present between that front and back piece. So you'll see how it very easily all aligns and you'll just wiggle it in there. It takes a couple minutes to get it all aligned and shifted down, but it does go quite easily once you get it all aligned. If you're working with any of our other pop-up card designs, and we have several of them, uh, they're all assembled, the mechanics of them like this are assembled the same way. So you can go ahead and grab this finishing base piece here. You'll notice that there are score lines in the file to fold along, and we're going to place that onto the front and the back of the card. And then you'll also glue the sides. Uh, you'll fold the sides around and you'll glue the sides closed as well for a completed finished base of our card there. We wanna make sure it looks nice and finished and pretty at the bottom and we're not seeing those little tabs we folded. With each of these pop-up cards, there's also a little message that goes on the front that you can cut out with your Cricut machine, and that's just a finishing touch. You could, of course, customize this to something different if you wish. I'm gonna be doing this one here that says Happy Holidays, and I'm layering it in uh, two complementary colors, and then placing that onto the front of my card as a finishing touch. You're gonna notice inside of the file that there's these little sort of H looking pieces. So these act as a way to hold those center um, inserts in place. So you want to fold them lengthwise in half and then you'll flip your card upside down where that honeycomb base is and you're going to insert them right over the top of where the two pieces cross together. So just put a little bit of glue on it and fold them over and what that's basically doing is stopping those center pieces, in my case this green Christmas tree and the candy cane stripes, a piece from sliding out of the top. So just add a couple of those in. You can add just two of them and it gets the job done, or you can add six of them if you want. Uh, I think I put four to six in each file, but you can of course duplicate them if you wish to have more. All right, so our card is completely finished. You can now collapse it completely flat so that you can add it into an envelope. There is an envelope SVG that also comes with this. There is also a piece to write a message on the back. You can have your Cricut write this or you can write this by hand like I'm doing here. I would definitely recommend having your Cricut write it. At least in my case, I don't really love my handwriting, but I went ahead and just, you know, popped it on there for example's sake and it can go onto the back of the card so that it has a fun little message. So here is the SVG file that's included for the envelope, and you can see that this will work as long as you don't make the card too big. However, um, if you are making the card bigger, then you may need to buy a, a pre-made uh, larger envelope if you're sending this in the mail. Make sure you grab this template. It's linked below in the video description for you. We also have several other ones. We have designs for Hanukkah. We have a nativity. We also have uh, a Santa Claus one and a snowman one. There's lots of cute ones to pick from. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. I'm Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections, your friend in the pursuit of craftiness. Bye for now.